Here's a detailed guide on the Canadian parliamentary system and how it works. Understanding the Canadian parliamentary system. Introduction. The Canadian parliamentary system is a democratic structure based on the British Westminster model. It is characterized by a constitutional monarchy, which means the country recognizes a monarch as the official head of state, but the monarch's powers are regulated by a constitution. The Monarchy As a Commonwealth country, Canada's monarch is the reigning king or queen of the United Kingdom. The monarch's role in the parliamentary system is largely ceremonial, with the governor-general acting as the representative in Canada. The Executive Branch The executive branch consists of the monarch, the prime minister, and the cabinet. The prime minister is the head of government in Canada. They are the leader of the political party that has the most seats in the House of Commons. The Prime Minister selects other members of Parliament to serve as ministers in the Cabinet. The Legislative Branch The Legislative Branch, known as the Parliament of Canada, consists of two houses, the Senate and the House of Commons. The House of Commons The House of Commons is the lower house, and its members are elected by the public in their respective districts, known as ridings. The House of Commons is responsible for proposing, debating, and voting on laws. The Senate The Senate is the upper house, and its members are appointed by the Governor-General on the advice of the Prime Minister. The Senate reviews laws proposed by the House of Commons and suggests amendments. The Judicial Branch the judicial branch is responsible for interpreting laws and is independent of the executive and legislative branches. The highest court in the land is the Supreme Court of Canada, consisting of nine justices appointed by the Governor-General on the advice of the Prime Minister. Conclusion The Canadian parliamentary system is a complex and balanced system of governance. It ensures democratic representation through the House of Commons, sober second thought through the Senate, executive leadership through the Prime Minister and Cabinet, and legal oversight through the judicial branch. This system allows for a fair and just society where the rule of law prevails.